Hello and welcome to this lecture on the client VPN and the connect settings. So to go to the setting, you go to security and SD-WAN, click on client VPN, and then you click on any connect settings. You enable it. And then you scroll down here and you can see the uh, dynamic DNS name that you will be using when you connect to the site later on. You can either connect by this one or by the IP address. We will use this one so to not get the errors. Here you can change the port. You have the login banner. You can change that if you want it uh, customized to something else. You can use a profile also here. You want If you want to push a specific profile to the users. We will not use that today, so we'll leave it as disabled. So let's go to authentication and access. Here you, for security reasons, you could use a radio server or active directory. Uh, I don't have them set up right now, so I will use my Meraki cloud authentication. And this will use your own username password, which you use when you log into the Meraki dashboard. And then we have the AnyConnect subnet. Here you can use anything that you wish to use. Make sure it does not conflict with other internal networks that you are using. And then here you can choose, you can specify if you have a DNS locally, which you want to connect your user, users to, or if you're fine with using a Google public DNS. Then we have the client routing. And here we can, as you see, send all the client traffic through the VPN. This will route all your traffic, uh, even the internet traffic, through the VPN. So if you don't want to do that, if you want to split the traffic, if you want to only send traffic for, for example, the internal networks or some networks that you have in your Meraki dashboard only, then you can use uh, only send traffic and all traffic except traffic going to these destinations or you can use only send traffic going to these destinations so i can choose this one which will make my AnyConnect vpn only route traffic to let's say the 10 network i will use a slash 8 you can narrow it and you can use a a 25 a 24 address 24 subnet mask if you uh, if you know exactly the networks used you can actually check that here so that we are a little bit more specific instead of taking the slash eight all right so we don't even have a 10 network here so we have a 172 16. all right so let us do like this. Let us take a slash 24 that will do. Let's go to the client VPN. And back to the AnyConnect section here. Uh, we did not save those settings, so we can leave them like that. Here we have the subnet. And then we can use only send traffic going to these destinations. Then we can do 16. And then we can use one dot. 0 slash 24 so only traffic going to these to this network will use the AnyConnect the rest will go through your usual uh, uplink here we have for host names this is not uh, this does not need to be enabled but if you want that you can read on it and see if you need to to uh, filter on destiny on host names instead. Here we have session timeout. This is a good security measure. Anyways, we can use that for eight hours. It's pretty good. Or you can choose one day, depending on the number of users. Group policy you can create a group policy and assign it to the users. And then what you want to do here, you just add a user. As you see, I'm already added here. But what you want to do is just add the email password authorized and then click on save after that after you have installed this package 
you just copy this and just I have the any connect here I think or the secure client even so I'm just going to paste that in here and I will connect Let's see cannot connect server please verify server address activity all right am I in on the right yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For some reason it is not it does not like me sitting on there we have let's add the password and we're in all right so as you can see here we have seven hours 59 minutes left you can also check the route details as you see we used the google dns so it will by default use the 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4/32 and then the one we specified here the rest will use our internet so as you see we have the split include here here is our address let's try to reach these addresses that are here that we have on our inside here. Okay. So let me try to ping them now. One. Ping 172.16.1. Great. Then we have ping 172.16.1. 1.129 and now we will disconnect the VPN let me do a continuous ping and I will disconnect this and you will see that we will get we will not get any replies there so as you see here it has failed so this is the way you actually connect to your any connect server all right guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you learned how to connect your secure client with the meraki mx make sure to subscribe like and leave suggestions on future videos goodbye